Hey guys, welcome to Success Decoded. We're here to see Raphael's book launch. So Raphael, what's the first thing people should know about moving abroad? Well, they should know there is a book out there that can help them, uh, which is moving abroad one step at a time. Um, but the main thing about moving abroad is to know that you're going to go through phases, and these are the phases that I explain in my book. You know, it's about knowing the practical and the emotional sides of moving abroad. So I really hope you, you read the book and you understand, and I can help you. The book is really interesting. Uh, I've read it myself and I'll suggest to some friends. And actually the book as well, one thing I really like it, is uh, it serves like a tool for me. Uh, let's say you come in here and uh, you have to find a place to live and uh, you have to, to share a place with other people. You don't know how to do, even uh, for washing a dish for instance, until to do the cleaning the house. So that's great, like you learn a lot, a lot, it's really great. So Raphael puts it all out there step by step, that's really easy to understand. Yes, yes, it's like step by step. From the beginning you arrive in here, what can you do? Like, and then you find a place, and after you find a place, you actually find friends as well. And I mean, it's great, it's like, yeah, I just suggestible, really nice. Yeah. Is there any story in particular you can relate to? Yeah, I'm Italian-Brazilian, and uh, when I moved to Europe, the first country I lived, for instance, Portugal, I could find a really difference in culture. When I came to UK, for instance, uh, by myself, I had to realize different things and how to live in here and how people, I mean, uh, how people deal with different situations for the time. And uh, I think the book is like giving you already the information like that you need previously, and then when you come here, you can prepare it already for everything. So, what what part of the book can you relate to? Um, I definitely like the part where it talks more about someone coming in from another country and having a first sort of. Um, you know, a, a cultural experience shocker when you come into the UK. And uh, I come from Fiji, Mula. Um, so for me to actually come on over to the UK and, you know, just experience what the UK has to offer, um, that, like, culturally, I was just like, there's so much to learn in so little time. Um, and uh, this book is has been an eye-opener. Um, especially for my colleagues who are actually thinking of traveling uh, to the UK especially and I just feel as though it's, it's, it's a definite, it's a breath in fresh air really. So the book was inspired by you. What are your thoughts and what are your experiences with it? Um, I came the first time to London was April 2011 to study and I decided come last year as well to make a business course so we are all the time sharing um, our lives and I was talking about my daily experience living with people from different countries so I think in some point you just decide to do that. What is your involvement in the book? Well I'm a photographer my name is Lou Denim um, I met Raphael a couple of years ago and uh, he came to see me to my studio and asked me if I could get involved into the project. So we, come with, we came up with a concept um, of jumping from one country to the other and that's it. Exciting times, yeah. brilliant. So would you recommend people to get the book? Definitely. I mean, I'm a foreigner myself. I've been in this country for 16 years. I'm French. I did grow up in uh, Spain, Spain as well for 11 years. So um, I can... I, I can understand what this book is about. So you're having fun tonight? Definitely, what a fantastic night. I wasn't expecting a Scottish night, um, but when you are a foreigner moving abroad, you need to be open-minded and you need to uh, welcome any nationalities, any traditions or, or cultures. So um, today is a really good example. I'm having a good time and I'm really happy I came here today. And I just want to congratulate um, Raphael um, I read the draft that um, he did and I think it's a fabulous book. Um, it gives very good tips and it's a good guide for people who's going through the emotions of making that decision to go to move abroad. 
and um, I would recommend you know anyone who's thinking about moving abroad read that book and it will help you to make up that mind. Having moved to another country I know what it's like you know it's it's not the easiest thing in the world first to decide to leave your home and go someplace else you've got all sorts of unknown possibilities which is exciting but it can also be scary Raphael has a tremendous appreciation compassion and empathy for people who have taken a big risk and moved to another country moving abroad it's not like going on a little trip for five days it is a big step and those of you who've done it know exactly what I'm talking about there are people out there thinking of moving to another country and they're not doing it yet and they're scared and they're uncertain and they have doubts and so along comes a really great book for them a light-hearted book a book full of stories not lecturing people a book full of things that people really need to think about, more important than where to go for the bus station, about living in another country, about all the things that happen once you move there, about all the things that could happen, and then what could happen in your mind. I think it's amazing. I mean, I was there when uh, he first started writing it, and I think his knowledge about what is involved when you move to a new place and how to make it easier and more fun is amazing. Not many people get into the insights that Raphael gets into. Brilliant. What, what part of the story or what story can you relate most to in the book? Um, the whole thing about when you have flatmates. When I first moved to London, I did live in a house with other people. It made the most sense, you know, financially. And I wasn't quite sure what that would mean. I'd never really lived with random people before. And, you know, they were from a different culture, or maybe I was from the different culture. Yeah. And, you know, you just have to make adjustments. You have to be flexible. And, uh, you know, Raphael understands the dynamics of people as well. So it is all about people. Fantastic. Would you recommend people to get the book? Definitely, yeah. because, you know, there's a lot of kind of more boring books out there. You know, like here's how to navigate the tube station and all. That's all important. Yeah. But it, it's about these little things about your lifestyle, your actual life that are more important because when you move someplace you, you, you have to live, you have to work and you have to live and um, I, I think you, you want the secrets and, and that's what this book has. Uh, I want to congratulate Raphael on the, uh, on the wonderful book uh, and, uh, and to say that, um, that uh, my, my grandfather, he, he, uh, he travelled to over a hundred different countries in his life and uh, he lived in dozens of countries, he was a travel agent. And I once, one of my last memories of him was this beautiful big map of all the different places that he'd been to and there's lines going all over the world and he's look, I was looking at this map and there was one line that went down to Antarctica and, uh, and I said, did you go to Antarctica, Grandpa? And he said, yeah, I went to, Grandpa uh, I went to Antarctica, Grandpa Antarctica. I uh, went to Antarctica and I said, how long were you there for? He said, I was there for three days. I said, what was it like? And he looked at me straight in the face and he went really quiet and he said, it's really cold, and um, it's that kind of practical advice that you that you want when you're moving somewhere, isn't it? Um, so anyway, I, I just wanted to congratulate um, <laughs> congratulate you on the book. Um, it's a wonderful time to write a book like this. Everyone's moving around the world. The world has become such a tiny little place. Um, so many people used to think of like a certain country with some lines around it as their home and. What's beautiful is so many more people are now thinking of just that beautiful little blue and green dot and they think that little, that tiny little planet that's whizzing around the sun, that's, that's home. And all of us are thinking, you know, I wonder how adventurous we can be and, and travel around and it's great to have the support of a book like this to, um, to help us think of the whole world as home. So thank you very much and congratulations on writing it and, and thanks for being such a great uh, uh, ambassador and such a great inspiration to many entrepreneurs. So Daniel, what's it been like working with the author? Oh, uh, look, it's been a wonderful experience working with Raphael. He's someone who's passionate and committed and um, he's one of these people who no sooner has he says, said that he's going to do something, he's onto it, he's doing it. Um, he's just a wonderful entrepreneur, uh, a very generous um, communicator and uh, I really congratulate him so much on a wonderful book. Thank you. So would you recommend the book to anyone? 
Well, I wouldn't recommend the book to anyone, only the adventurous people, the people who uh, see the whole world as potential home. And, um, and it's the kind of book for those adventurers who want to have a quick book um, to get the practical advice to, um, uh, to, you know, to move abroad and to find a new home. What's your experience being moving abroad? Well, I came to uh, England in 2006 uh, with nothing more than a suitcase and a credit card. Uh, I launched a business and um, and grew uh, you know grew a business in uh, in the UK, um, and you know it was you know even coming from Australia to England, it was uh, it was quite a culture shock, um, and there were a number of things that I had to learn about, and um, you know I didn't have I didn't know anyone here, and uh, and I think for anyone who's brave enough to make that step, it's wonderful to have any form of support. The the amazing thing I I found about him was the second time I met him. Uh, it was, you know, I just joined the Key Person of Influence program. For those who don't know what it is, we teach entrepreneurs, business leaders, how to clarify their pitch, how to, you know, write books, publish, how to productize, how to increase their profile and work in partnership with people. So it's over six to seven months and Rafael was a part of that. And he very confidently said, I am going to be the first person to launch my book in my group. I'm like, okay, great, great introduction, yes. Um, and you know what? A lot of people have told me that before, but very few of them have actually done it. Uh, Raphael strikes to me as a person who says what he means and does what he says. And there are very few of those around. And therefore, please join me and give him a big round of applause. Thank you everyone for being here. It's, it's a great pleasure. It's people that I've known for 12 years, for 15 years, for five years, for a few months. Um, and really the book is to help people who are moving or living abroad, which is probably 80% of people that I know in London. The book was written with my sister in mind that you met tonight. She was downstairs being the host and she was going through this journey when she was in London. So she left to Brazil, she was here for 18 months, and she bombarded me with the questions, you know, you know, how do I do this, how do I do that, and how do... And I knew that every time I had a friend coming to London, that would be the case too, so I thought, I may be able to help, but not just them, but everyone else who is going through this journey. I had a friend who I've known for probably 17 years, who just arrived in London, she was from school, and she went through that too. So, and I said, now I have a book, you can read the book and, you know, to help you. So, it is, um, it is an achievement, you know, it, it takes a lot of hard work, as, as they said, and it's true, but it's very rewarding, especially when you get emails or you get um, an Amazon uh, review saying, you know, thank you so much for writing this, and it's very rewarding to know that um, we are able to reach a lot of people um, with our words. And I feel very privileged and thank you all for being here sharing with me tonight. I have just, uh, to, uh, well I have to say thank you to very close friends, people that went for dinner parties, for coffees, that I interviewed them and you know, um, well you know who you are because you are in the book. Uh, and a very special thank you to my fiancé who is here, well, I can't see him because of the lights, but he's here and he was the one when I was writing to 3 o'clock in the morning to 2 o'clock. It was always a cup of tea there saying, keep going, you know, this kind of thing. So, thank you, Will. Thank you, all my friends. Thank you, um, Mindy, for publishing my book, for believing, uh, for trusting the, 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 the work that I put into it. And Daniel Priestley and Darshana for the KPI uh, program that I'm into that helped me, push me to write the book. Thank you, everyone, for being here. And guys, that was Raphael's book launch and you're watching Success Decoded TV.